What is up everybody, the Saints fan, and welcome back to another episode of Monday Mailbox. This is a series where you guys ask me questions either about GTA or gaming in general, and I answer them. If you want to ask a question for next week's episode, either leave it in the comment section or send me a message over YouTube with a subject titled Monday Mailbox. Also, I'm trying out a new upload time today on this video, and this one is uh, uploaded around like 7 o'clock my time, which is Central and 8 o'clock Eastern. So let me know if you like that or, you know, basically just let me know in the comment section what time you would want the videos that I release to be um, public, you know, so just let me know. But anyway, getting into the first question, we have Felipe Bedoya, he asks, do you think that Rockstar is going to put a beta week with the stock market and all that stuff? And if we abuse it with glitches, they're not going to put it in. Well, I can already tell you it will be abused with glitches, but I think this is a great idea. Um, and definitely Rockstar should do this. You know, we should definitely um, try to tweet or I think there's even an email that you can email Rockstar. And just to see, because I mean, you never know. I mean, I say it probably is and it, most likely it probably will be. But uh, again, you're, you're not going to know until um, it does come out. I definitely think that maybe a week or a couple of weeks where uh, maybe stuff doesn't count like whatever money you spend. Like, like basically they just have like a little period of time, uh, let's say two weeks where they put the stock market in but anything in that week like doesn't count after the end of those two weeks it goes back to what it was before so like if there was some major glitch and people got millions upon millions of dollars then they can easily revert it but if not then you never know now obviously if they did that people who found glitches they might hold off until they put it into the game but uh, I definitely think Rockstar should start doing this more not even just with the stock market with um, I mean I, I can't think of any other major things but just with other you know smaller things that may cause issues you know maybe that sponsorship deal or, or the the rate my ride type of idea we were talking about a couple days ago uh they definitely can try to put some of the stuff in and i think people would be fine with a beta period for some of these things because of what we already know has gone wrong in the community so i definitely think that is something that rockstar should do and that's a good point so definitely thanks for that idea this next question is from William Ferguson, and this one, not so much, is just from him. I've gotten a ton of questions about music, and I'll read his question here in a second. But uh, I figured since a lot of people have been asking me about music and stuff, I will answer that and give you my thoughts and stuff like that. But uh, his question, do you think it would be cool if Rockstar allowed you to download your music so you listen to your own music instead of the same songs all the time? I know there would be problems with copyright and stuff, but... Uh, you know, basically what's my opinions, I'm assuming. Um, so yeah, copyright is the one issue. They can't put every song in because, I mean, if you guys paid attention way before the game was out or like when it was first getting released, there was a guy whose music they used that he never gave them permission to use or something and there was a big like lawsuit going on. So you definitely have that and if they made it so where you can upload any music, they don't have control over what, you know, you upload. So you can definitely be using copywritten stuff. Now what they could do is in the future make like a music DLC pack. That could be something they do. Obviously they would need to work with uh, some other artists and music people to try to get some stuff. But that is probably the only thing they can do. Until it comes to PC and PC there's like mods and stuff. Uh, there's nothing or there's never going to be anything official from Rockstar because it's just not possible with the whole copyright stuff. Unfortunately for me though um, I actually have to turn music off so I've never heard any of the songs since like the first week of the game you know being out because obviously if I record something and then it goes on YouTube it can get copywritten and I don't want to deal with that so unfortunately I haven't heard any of the songs so I just play my music on my computer anyway half the time when I am playing GTA so that's probably the only thing you can do but I just wanted to touch on that because like I said a lot of people were asking me questions about the music and stuff so that is the answer unfortunately uh, although it would be awesome they just can't do it and then the last question we have this is a short Monday mailbox but the last question we have is from yummy money and he says first I just want to say I love your videos so that's awesome and his question, do you think that Rockstar will continue to remove races and deathmatches that have unobtainable vehicles like the deathmatch unobtainable vehicles, uh, which was taken out? Well, well, they did take that out before they announced in the spring update sort of uh, news that they weren't going to be patching glitches that weren't game breaking or that weren't like annoying. So maybe if somebody finds a way to make that deathmatch again, uh, maybe the guy who created it finds another uh, exploit or something to get those vehicles in the deathmatch, I definitely think it's possible. Um, because of what they said, I don't think they would 
take down those death matches because they were pretty cool you know especially for some people who uh you know use the big cargo plane to do stunts it was definitely cool to go into that death match try it with that and then uh get your stunt and then be done so it was definitely very helpful for some people plus it was fun to go around you know i know they had like pink jets in one of them they had like black cargo bobs they had the giant cargo planes and it was fun to just mess around with and i definitely think they should come back and I mean, at least in my opinion, I don't think they ruined the game for anybody. I mean, maybe you guys have a different opinion, but it is a deathmatch, so it's not like it's part of the online, and you have to start up your own deathmatch, so it's not like you could say, oh, well, I got, I, you know, I don't know, there's some excuse or something, you know, I, I definitely think it'd be really cool, and the one thing I'm thinking of now, I don't know if there's actually a way, because maybe I think what Rockstar actually did was they patched the way to get all the modded missions and stuff so i don't know if they found a workaround around that but i would definitely love to see that because like i said i want to get into stunting more when the update does come out and having that cargo plane mission or you know any of the other cool things it just makes life a lot easier but i would definitely love to have that cargo plane so i could try out some stunts on it but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video i know it's a little bit short but i need to record the paint job video so that is coming out tomorrow it should be really awesome but anyway again hope you guys enjoy like the video share subscribe all that stuff and as always you should voice me in the